Evening all, welcome to another King's Crusher Banter Blitz on ITC. It's around 9 p.m. UK time. Okay, I've got some pending challenges already. Let's kick off with this unrated blitz challenge from Chess 64. Okay, let's try G6 Hypermodern. And uh, I'm wondering. Oh, we've got a nice London system. Well, I'll play a double Fincetto here. Okay, maybe E5. Let's check my preview on this. <clears throat> this is a free two game, so it's a increment game. Um, <clears throat> e takes might be good, actually, under the right circumstance. Ah, well, no, C takes. Bishop f7 to follow, winning my queen. Uh, what about. Okay, let's sort of try and tempt. Something B five trying to have B five. Uh huh. He wanted to play B five anyway. Probably that wasn't. You need a website. Oh, what? Pop on me. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, I haven't really. I'm not sure. I've really got anything here. At the moment, but anyway, protect this pawn. Although, I think you can take and then knight b6. This is dangerous. Queen c6, knight a, a, a. I don't know, knight g5. Is that anything? Could just be losing the exchange. Okay, let's go like this then. Ooh. This looks precarious. I seem to have an advert on my preview. I'm just <laughs> waiting for this to finish. Where's the skip ad? <clears throat> <clears throat> I seem to be falling apart here. I think you can just take, take, look, knight b6. Yeah, a bit falling apart. And this is some compensation. You can also take on e5. Oh, hang on. If he takes on e5, I've got that a4 pawn. Uh, or, hang on, I can pin. You can try and pin this guy. Yeah, knight b6, queen. Hmm, okay. Knight b6, I'm wondering queen b7. Would he have to go back in, into a pin or something? Not really. Mm. No, probably queen b2 and then a5. Mm. Queen b2 and a5, eh? And then he's on the diagonal, okay. Not entirely pleasant at the moment. Check the center form. Uh-huh. Can I get a battery going at least with bishop b7, knight g5 or not? Oh, there's always knight d5 I suppose. Blunting things. Um mm -hmm. Knight d5 blunts. <clears throat> Can I get rid of that or not? Doesn't have to take. Okay, he has. That's 
two pawns have been chipped away. Have I got anything for it? You didn't have to do that. Ah, uh, it seems to have freed up my position a little bit. <clears throat> Not threatening anything. The knight's protecting g2. Uh, not yet. Um, <clears throat> let's hold this bishop somewhere. Maybe my king should go on h7, I wonder. G7, H7. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let me take this pawn. Right, I think I've got some chances now. He let me have that pawn. I thought that pawn was going to be absolutely winning. Right, you can double the pawns and rook a four. Um, what is this? Oh. He's trying to claw back in his. Uh... Oh, okay. Check. I'm in trouble again. <clears throat> Check. Unfortunately. Okay. Um there if G falls anything. And we can E uh, the E four square. Oh, why don't I take on the... Oh, I think I'm messing this up. To try and draw it, I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Position is not great. <clears throat> Hang on, that pawn's hanging. Wait, 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 wait. All right. <clears throat> mm. Bit of a slog this game. Is he dropping another pawn? No, he's not. Greatest um, technique. Um, try and stop this one now. Check. Oh, this one to the bishop. Oh, I think it's over now. Ah, oh, now it's over. Check. Check. <laughs> Still my trick. <clears throat> Um, 
Smoke one. Well. Okay, so bishop d3, knight e5. Bishop f3 or something. F, no, f4 or Bishop f3. Queen, oh, queen d3. Um, tough night <laughs> okay uh, my d4 is vulnerable oh this is a nasty pin um knight d5 uh bishop h4 might be something maybe bishop h4 uh trying to double the pawns for knight d5 <clears throat> Maybe, maybe. Right, what's happening here then? Is there knight f6? Or is there knight f3, queen f3? I'm hitting the queen of hitting f6. <coughs> Check. Right, so knight f6 is coming up. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, yeah, knight f6 looks good. I'm taking a rook over there. So rook e1, two takes, takes, takes. I'm taking a rook. Rook against two bishops. What should I just take here? Why don't I just take this rook? Then knight f6. Mm. Yeah, maybe take the rook. I think this is dangerous. Oh, because of knight f6. <sighs> <clears throat> uh, okay, so knight f6, and I have king g7, well there's rookie 8, g8. Check. Check. Alright, so king h6, we got uh, queen h5. Right, I managed to win a game. Alright, cheer up a bit. Okay, thanks for the game, make one. Bishop's mate. Bishop mate. Bishop mate. <clears throat> okay, is Bishop mate around? Let's see. Let's see. Is he around? Give him a few more seconds. That's a, maybe 430. Uh, Alright, we'll, we'll bought this one. I think there were some other challenges. J. Russell 2. Hello. Hi, J. Russell 2. Another cool run line. <laughs> J. Russell 2. How are you? Are you around? Ahem. <clears throat> Alright. 
So we, this is um, a Catalan or something. Oh, let's get some water actually. Diagonal, or yeah, try to loosen this diagonal. Maybe uh, queen b, uh, queen a. F mm, no, let's have a plan here. So what's what's the plan? What's the plan? Try and weaken the diagonal. Uh, the knight c4. Maybe queen h5. Then take it from there after queen h5. Knight c4, queen h5. Uh, e5, e4, d, uh, d5. All right, let's see. Let's see, is it? No, 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 no. Need a plan. E5 or d5. B5? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure. We'll do this. Let me just provoke, try and provoke a weakness or two. Uh huh. G4. If he takes. Hmm, what do I need to do? Knight f6 and maybe bishop g4. Bit of fun with bishop g4 here. Is there. Is it going to be g4 now? Okay. On my queen. I like this queen c5 here. Is queen c5? Alright, so and then knight f five coming up or bishop g seven. Don't like the queen being harassed that much. Um A five to stop B four for a moment. Okay. <clears throat> Hello on streams. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to be less uh, morbid than my first game. I hate playing London Systems, and I didn't even know it was increments. Sorry, <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to become less depressed after the first game of the session. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed. I was trying to hide it, but sometimes it's good to be open about things. I can't believe someone just did that to me in the first game. Uh, the double whammy. I just. I just of the London system and and the increment. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's Friday night. It's not meant for serious chess. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So anyway, knight takes e5, bishop e6, rook d8. Yes. If I win a few, I might actually smile at some point. You never know. Uh, okay. So e4 or bishop f5, maybe or bishop e6. Yes. Uh, knight takes e5, rook d8, or maybe a5, a4, a4. Okay, why does white seem to have such a good position? Does he actually have a good position? Can I plonk a knight onto d4? Is this is this knight loose here? Is anything loose here in white's position? This knight coming to d4 might be pretty good. Uh, uh. Oh. I'm putting my queen here. Actually, there's knight g3. There's, I'm threatening. I've got a threat. For the first time in the game, knight takes g3 is, is played. Knight takes g3 is on the cards. And I'm protecting a7. What more do I want? I mean, I'm protecting a5. Okay, let's subtly... 
let's suddenly keep that protected with knight g knight takes g3 still on the cards here so I, I actually I don't know what's happened to this from earlier but it seems a lot better than earlier I like the knight on d4 <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay uh, so let's see rook d8 a takes all right all right actually there is bishop takes h3 if takes knight f3 oh he's bypassed that oh man i i'm seeing these things too slow and they're not around anymore these possibilities so i'm tied down to b7 as well now Oh man, I had bishop takes h3 for knight f3. Is there no possibilities here? Alright, knight takes, bishop takes. That knight and that skewer looks good. Check. Okay, so we've got I got a skewer here. <clears throat> okay. There's a skewer here. I'll oh, win that exchange. At least. Actually, there's bishop takes c3. I think this is good news. So on the rook on the knight. There's also rook d2 on f2. Okay, so knight d5, rook d. No, knight d5 blocks rook d2. Um. Rook d2 here, I'm not getting mated just yet, am I? There's no queen g6 or anything. So I've got queen f2 on the cards. That's well, rook f2, queen f2, bishop d4. But then there might be, okay, there's rook f7, king g8, but I think the checks stop, or even king h8. So it's probably worth trying to finish the game in a little bit. Of, I, ho I hope it's sound. <clears throat> So bishop d4. Ah, Check. just didn't want it. Okay. All right. Thanks for the game, J Russell. Cap seventy eight red. This guy needs to get a PNG graphic. I think it's better than GIF. If that's a GIF, I think PNG or uh, SVG. No, not SVG. I mean, I think the PNGs is higher resolution. But anyway. Okay. So. Let's see, uh, bishop d3, knight e2 plan. And um, if bishop g4, f3, I've seen this plan before in the opening. Trying to avoid this annoying pin. Can I put the bishop on f3 here? Out of interest. Does it matter if I have the bishop on f3? Okay. Okay, let's see. It seems as though what does it seem here um i know knight d5 okay it seems pleasant enough all right it does seem pleasant enough i like this solid center maybe queen c2 knight g okay queen c2 discourages castling um <clears throat> so knight g3 And um, then what? Uh, so, can't castle at the moment. Is he going to create some weaknesses? Right, I can actually stop him castling. So, knight g3, rook e1. Aha! Okay. That stops him casting anyway, if I just do that. Although the king could just leisurely walk to uh, over there. Can I play for f5? Right, trying to still get some sort of maybe a form pawn on f6. Right, can I win this? Although my h2 gets exposed, is it worth the risk? There's always knight g3, so I'm thinking hg, bishop g6, queen d6, knight g3. I don't want to get mated on h2, but I'm threatening knight f5 check. No, I'm not. All right, rethink that. Bishop f5, maybe. Try and weaken this uh, f5 square 
What's wrong with this f5 square? Bishop f5. So you can't take it via check. Uh, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Queen e2 to g4 is an idea. Rook e1. Uh, oh, oh, I'm being attacked. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, this is dangerous. Uh, but, but, haven't I got Bishop h3? I don't have to lose the knight necessarily. Check. I believe. Mm hmm. There's no, the knight's pinned now. But at least I'm not losing the knight. And, um,. Yeah, I'll just double or something, I think. Maybe rook g1 coming up. So that protects the knight. Rook g1. Oh, this, I don't want to get mated to queen h3. That would be embarrassing. Safety point. <laughs> the, the threat. Try and see the threat of the last move. So knight f5 takes, takes, queen e2, rook f2. I'm hoping I'm not getting mated. Check. Let's have a look. This looks as though it should be okay. Queen e2, rook f2, with rook g1 to follow. Check. Yes, that would have been embarrassing to get mate on h3 or something. Uh, rook g1, queen f6 coming up. Um. Okay, rook g1 for a moment. Check. I know I've got to protect h3. We'll keep, or I can go for f6 and go for f6. Yeah, I mean, as long as it all runs with checks, it should be okay. Thanks, Cap78. No mercy for you. Okay. Uh, let's try French defense then. Uh, it's a maximum masochism with the French defense. Or not. Let's see. Let's burn the radiation. I'm going to give back the pawn there because I think job done. It's weakened some squares. I can sort of put some pressure on uh, the center. I hope. Uh, is that the case? Mm. Knight. E, if I just get this knight over to g6 for a moment. We took. Okay, okay. I, it's pretty safe over here for a moment. See, is he going to win a pawn? I'm tempting him to win a pawn. Actually, he can just take that pawn. Yeah, yeah. That was a bit dumb. <laughs> okay, is that knight e5? Um, is that doing anything? Not really. Not really. Okay, a bit dumb to lose that pawn. Alright, so bishop b7 and got anything going here? There looks to be a little bit of pressure on the position. Uh, uh huh, bishop h7 needs to be addressed. Ooh, have I got knight g4 potentially? Bishop f4, knight f3 takes queen f4. Let me see, knight g4, threatening mates or not? Not really. Right, knight f3 here. Check. Okay, so bishop f3 coming up. That's that. I think that was a bit of good news there. So bishop f3, queen g4. <clears throat> okay, can I not just take on f3 here for queen g4? This looks like a fantastic diagonal. Okay, there's queen check. Uh, knight g4 after looks dangerous. 
Check. Check. This looks dangerous. Check. <clears throat> and now what? I can play knight e3, threatening queen g4 mate. Or knight f2, if rook g1, queen h3, king here. There might be a check. I think knight f2 might be better. It threatens, if queen g5, queen h3, I think there's two kind of mate possibilities here. So queen g4 or queen h3 leading to a mate, I think. With King G5, H, uh, Queen G4. Face of the game, no mercy for you. Um, Bishop mate, I think we've played. Have we played here? And let me just check. I, I need to do a sanity check. Um, we played Bishop mate, but we haven't played uh, here yet. Okay, hi, here. Okay, let's see. Uh -huh. Uh, maybe a king's gamut to spice things up. <clears throat> uh, okay, so so c3 d4. I'm I'm hoping that this is constructing a center. Uh, so we got the kind of king's gamut declined. Is this too cheeky to play? Can I play this? Check king e2. Is that too cheeky? Check. I've got the bishop pair. I don't see what's immediately losing about this position. So bishop e3 to f2 so might have the g file later if the center doesn't collapse. All right, so let's see. Can I try and nick this bishop with knight f4? This bishop a5. Hmm. Is it? It's too dangerous to try and nick that bishop. Uh, Maybe a3 first, knight a4, bishop a5, b4. Because I'm wondering about this center, how flimsy it is. d5 trying to get the f5 square for a knight could be annoying. That is also scary. Yeah, I guess my king there isn't too great. Um, wonder if e5 is possible. Hmm. Uh, a little bit on the scary side. Uh, or rook g1 or bishop g2. Maybe. Can I improve my uh, king safety somehow by putting my rook here, my king on b1? Let me see. That's attacking a bit. So if the king goes to b1 now, might be losing f4. Maybe I could have done something about that with knight d5. Oh well. Uh, my king getting to like over here is interesting. Knight d5 is oh, f takes with that pin. I've got to get out of the pin. Okay, uh, she's released the pressure on f4. Okay, so I'm wondering now. Things could come together favorably, I think. I hope. The bishop's actually holding e4. Um. Knight b3, king b1, f takes, f takes, no immediate queen invasion. Knight d5 might be possible. All right, can I do this? There's knight f4. Hmm, getting chipped away here. He's not taking that pawn for some reason. All right, it, I'll move it then, I'll move that pawn. Um. Oh, knight f4, queen d2, there's knight b3, safety point. Uh, so it's still a little bit scary. I don't know where I can move my queen. d1, I lose g2. Is it better to just take that? Or queen d1? Queen d1 does seem possible. Maybe, okay, queen d1, let's see, queen d1. So I want to play king b1, bishop f3, rook g4. Change of plan. Double the rooks. Okay, knight c4. I think that might be queen b3. I think I want to double the rooks here. Isn't queen b3 good in this position? 
Uh, I'm going to go for that pin. D5, knight D5. Hmm, no, D5 might be good. Okay, change the plan. I'm just going to double the rooks here for a moment. Threatening, I think, rook G7. I'll just drop the E3 bishop in doing that. Whoops. Oh, I've just dropped the E3. He didn't take it. Can I take on D5 and live to tell the tale? Or play uh, E5? Now, this bishop, I should move it. Second shot to the bishop. Bishop G5. Bishop G5. Bishop G5. Maybe. Uh, can I? Oh, I think my sensor's feeling a lot of pressure here. Um, I'm not sure about this knight scenario. So he's pinning again here. Okay, what about this? I don't like all these pins uh, in the position. Is is there the possibility? Okay, what about what about uh, e5, e5. Okay, rook f5, bishop f6, say. Bishop f6. Uh, or, hang on a sec. Okay, I think things have been getting better, uh, generally. Uh, yes, some pressure. Again. Uh, but that c4 knight has installed itself. I wonder knight e4... Sure. Knight e4. Oh, don't lose the queen. Knight <laughs> d2 check. Ah, oh, okay. All right. It's a tricky position. It remains a tricky position. Hmm. Knight hmm, hmm. e4 to f6. What about this? I'm going to use this little trick. Knight f6 here. Takes check. We're mating with rook g8. So bishop d4, knight f6. Uh, is that any good there? Check. <clears throat> mm, take on g1, take on g7, then come back for g1. Let me see. <clears throat> Or I think um, there might be rook g8. So bishop takes g1, rook g7, king f8. Rook g8 check, king takes, queen g3 check. Is this crazy or what? Does it work? King f7, queen g7. The pawn's part of the mating net there. It's stopping e6. So I'll run that through again. Okay, don't need to. Okay. Um, F takes, bishop takes, g takes. Well, this is an interesting scenario as well. I think I will go for that. Let's see. Bishop takes, g takes, king takes. There's a double check. Rook g7, king h6. Mm, that's not doing too much there. Hang on, hang on, bishop takes, takes, isn't there just rook h3 in that position, pinning the queen? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Again, rook h3, there's no immediate, well, it looks as though rook h3, h6 is a great idea. I, in theory, uh... In practice, there's queen e2 and bishop e3 check. Uh, okay, let's see, let's see. Queen e2 is scary. I think rook h6 threatens rook h8, though. All right, bishop e3 is on the cards, but I can play queen takes e3 there. So if I play rook takes h6, threatening mate, check, queen takes e3, knight takes rook h8, Let's try this. Oh, hang on, there's queen f4 check. <clears throat> that that refutes. Is there better with queen d3 then? 
for a moment. Bishop e3 I can take. Okay, queen d3 looks safer in retrospect there. They've only got three seconds yeah. anyway. Alright. Um, yeah, it's time pressure, I think. Alright, this is an interesting game. Uh, Alright, let's see. Any other challenges for them? Or play a game on the three minute. Blimey! How comes our numbers are up? I don't remember 80 watching the show last week. Hello! Hello on stream! Oh dear. Oh, hello. I didn't know our numbers are up from 30, wasn't it, last week? Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoy the show. Um, I, I'm, I'm just trying to play some interesting uh, chess here, so hence the, like, the King's Gambit is a bit entertaining, I hope. But I think there are some interesting variations there. I don't know if that was all my imagination. Uh, if we if we just analyze this position for a moment while we're just waiting, if we, if we have a look at this position, bishop takes. This this might have been yeah. more than my imagination. Isn't there rook g8? All right, it's mentioning Helen. Is there rook g8? Yeah. That might be good as well. It's, that is, I think that is. Oh, sorry, it's even protected by the pawn. Oh, we got a three minute. Oh, sorry, we got a three minute auto pairing. Okay, and. I am so flag is uh, hungry. I knew that. Just make sure. Okay, I don't like this system against the Kings and that much. I gotta say, but it's only a three-minute game. Can I play? All right, for B five or something later. If I unpin for E five, is that an idea? Uh, you can just take here. Uh, so my d6 is pretty pretty weak. Uh, is b5 is b5 b5. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Our uh, knight e8. There's knight e7. If I take uh, where my my queen going? Queen e8. I'm getting my queen trapped successfully. Oh, that's just fantastic. This knight on c7 is the most awkward knight ever. Can I can I do this? I'm losing the exchange. Whatever happens, aren't I? Hang on, hang on. I I've got to do something. Ah, this this is all in the wrong place. Everything's in the wrong place. Here, it's just Bishop e7 wins the exchange at minimum. I I yeah. I think I think I misplayed this somewhat. Bishop e7. I'm just trying to choose lesser evil moves. I didn't like the look of the other one either. Okay. It's just less evil moves where possible. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Let's take this. Or oh, not. He's not letting me take B5, is he? I don't even know if I've got. Have I got E5 under control? Is there Knight Z7, Knight B5, Knight D4? Just try and get some. Compensation for the exchange down. That's not happening. Yeah. Hmm. I think this guy means business. I don't think he means to give me the b5 pawn. So, bishop e6 is is. Oh, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. <clears throat> mm hmm. Hang on, I've got bishop b5 renewed there as a threat now. Okay, can I not take it? If he's giving him it, giving it to me, is f5. I'm going to throw in this yeah. check first. Might be handy later. Oh, that's me there on f7. That's nice. Just notice that. Is knight c7 better then? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't immediately get mated. Oh, crikey. B6, knight B5, yeah, he's got a cool nation on F7, he's got F5 coming up. Do I do I manage to do anything here or not? E5, D5 maybe, F5, knight B5 maybe, um, or bishop B5. 
is safer. Or G5, just try and keep things closed for a moment. So F5 could be lethal. Bishop takes B5. Or knight takes b5. Probably knight takes b5 is plausible. Let's hold on to this bishop for a moment. Alright, b6, knight e8. That pawn is. I'm hoping to get a pawn for the exchange. So knight takes b5. Is that on the cards finally? I've got him using time. He hasn't mated me yet. There's good news about this. Uh, right, do I do it now, this? Uh -huh, I know, I know. King g8? King here? Is that too dangerous? King here? There might be rook h7 for qu uh, there. <clears throat> Maybe I should have stopped that possibility. He's got rook h7 for queen f7. Uh, uh huh. Have I played g4? h5? Okay. Well, it looks like a good position now. H3 takes H4. I'm going to hit hit that guy. Um, rook B4. Well, his king's exposed as well. Queen H4. Check. Right, and let's get my king out of the firing line here. Um, Time warning. He's only got six seconds. Check. Yeah, got that one. Okay, thanks. White now, white owl. Okay, <clears throat> white knight owl. Yeah, that was groveling though. The exchange down. I don't like that. But I had to choose. What I call a lesser evil decision there. Either I didn't want that change of pawn structure earlier. So losing the exchange was I mean in the King's engine one is generally strong on the dark squares, so having the dark square bishop seemed a lot of fun anyway. If you're gonna be the exchange down in the King's engine, that wasn't too terrible, I think, eventually. But okay, bit of luck. Uh <clears throat> Against the IM there. Okay. <clears throat> uh, right. So let's see. Uh, can I play h6? And uh, or is my light squares getting too uh, compromised? Um, b5 looks a little bit dangerous. I'll encourage. Shall I encourage doubling pawns or not really? I just get this bishop for a moment. And if he plays knight d5 after, I don't think I want to take because that, that c file, that c7. I think I want to just go back for a moment. Knight d5, queen d8. Take things e easy here with queen d8. Slowly take my time to kick the knight with knight e7 and c6. Let's do this. So queen back, knight, maybe even knight e7, c6 anyway. Or not. There was another way without an exchange. I can play this without an exchange. A very slow route. Knight b8, c6. Because actually, I like my knight, my my queen's knight. Here. So if I can kick this guy out, this knight out, and then reroute. So f5. Uh, so f4, queen f6. Okay, okay, rookie eight takes maybe as the plan. <clears throat> um, okay, let's see. 
yeah this bishop's pretty good here I think so let's see rook c e a or f4 maybe f4 looks as though I'm blunting the bishop a bit by locking it behind the pawn if I get the e5 square that'd be pretty good for the knight that looks pretty tasty as long as this is not lifted this blockade too quickly I won the bishop e3 celebrating this diagonal for a moment maybe c5 uh, I don't want to weaken d5 ever knight e5 or bishop g4 what about bishop g4 then knight e5 maybe even giving up the light square bishop might be the right plan to try and weaken white on the dark squares so bishop g4 uh, then knight e5 then bishop f3 then something like rook d8 in fact I don't need to relinquish this pen that quickly what about rook cd8 oh hang on what's this I'm taking that I'm taking that yeah okay so our uh, here safety point knight takes e5 so what about queen e7 is that safe enough without this relative pin backfiring um yeah queen g6 I think that yeah hitting the queen was I don't know so let's see what's happening here there's knight takes d3 rook takes queen takes e4 uh, he could do a discovered attack on my queen but I could play maybe f3 in that position um, I think that might be interesting knight takes d3 basically mm, maybe maybe it's a forcing move okay so let's see queen takes e4 where can the knight go I it's it's a center pawn queen takes e4 there's no rook d7 there the bishop's covering d7 knight e5 so I think there's f3 in that no knight e5 does protect the rook so there's no okay queen takes knight e5 f3 f3 yeah I think let's see <clears throat> hmm All right, I believe f3 for my earlier calculation just checking this checking checking I, I think f3 uh -huh. well there's a check here check. if queen takes this rook takes f1 okay thanks to the game why not Al okay I think we've played here have we played Polarix so we play uh, some new people Polarix where possible I, I don't think we've played Polarix or Rocky Top hello Okay, so let's stop B five. This looks like some sort of Benoni with the bishop on E seven instead of G seven. I'm wondering about this D six if that is a classic weakness still, but there's big differences here in a way black's more solid say I don't know knight b6 say knight b6 knight e3 what what's the deal there what's the deal I haven't got really what do I play a5 and knight c4 again I mean how do I torture d6 ultimately or maybe that's enough to be getting on with just a5 knight c4 um, that might be enough for a moment Actually, the bishop's hanging. <laughs> the bishop's hanging. I didn't realize I was threatening anything there. The bishop's hanging, yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking positionally. That's my excuse. I was thinking positionally. If you just tuned in, yeah, I have these. 
positional ideas sometimes, but they get in the way of, of concrete calculation. I don't know if you guys have noticed that yourself from your own games. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I was thinking about the D6 porn, you see. That's that's why. That's why. There's a reason. There's a reason. <laughs> the calculation's flawed. Uh, distracted. Distracted. Okay, so... Uh, okay. Yes, the bishop was hanging. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason for going back to E3. All right, so this is good news. Thanks for the game, Polaris. Race. Rocky Top. Okay, Rocky Top. Um, oh no, we're not going to have this horrible variation again when I get tortured. Oh, good. It's a repeat. Oh, goodness. It's a repeat of the saga of the ice that it queens pawn later. Oh, dear. Oh, I, 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 this variation. Oh, oh, oh. Try and get some dynamic play out of it. <laughs> is it possible to actually get some dynamic play out of this it was originally Morris Smith Gambit I don't know it's some boring thing now can I take here and take on d4 to avoid the dreaded isolated queen's pawn at least I, sh I should play the standard Sicilian against him I think Next time, this variation is just too good. This knight f6 Nimzovich hybrid thing. I don't know. Knight d2 to e4 maybe. Yes, I want the queens on as well. Knight d2 to e4. With those pointing menacingly at my king, queen f4 threatens. Can I stop that sort of business? Queen f4 hits c4 and h2. Very funny. Okay. Knight e4. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, there's bishop g5 trying to create some weaknesses. Or I can just take this guy on d6. I think I'm taking that. Threatening c4 now by dropping this bishop back. And also, maybe bishop c2 is handy. c4 immediate threat. Which is not parried. Why isn't this threat parried? Did he notice? I was sneaking in c4. Did he not notice? This might be good news, this pin. Pin and win. As they say, pin and win. Okay, there's not even a queen c6 in sight. I think I'm just taking there. I have to deal with that diagonal. Maybe just queen f3 there. After. So queen c6, cd, ed, queen f3. The ambitions on the weakened light squares have to be some long term thing or not. I can pin for a moment here, or bishop f4, queen c6, queen f3. Kind of pinning again. Okay, and there's also. What is it about this position? Apart from being a bishop up, uh, something interesting about this position. Yes. Technically, hanging pawn strategy. I'll try and fix these in theory. These hanging pawns. Uh, rook c1. Hmm. Do I want to use the a pawn? Mm. I'm not sure what I should be worried about at the moment. What is actually my plan? What is the plan? I wonder. Hmm. The back row might be sensitive here. There's no air being made for the king just yet. Oh now in doing that, in doing that, this is good, isn't it? Some dark squares. Doesn't that mean rook takes c5, queen takes, queen f6, thing mate on g7, king f8. Check. King in the centre. Bishop, oh, it looks very dangerous. I'd at least win the queen. Is that actually possible? Rook c5 for queen f6. Any major, major flaws there? It is a rook investment. King f8, check. King e7. Right, stopping it. Alright, in which case, go the slow route. Okay, h4. 
Okay, it's good that pawn's pinned, otherwise this starts getting dangerous, d4. Um, oh, boy. Okay, I've I've let the hanging pawns... Yeah, okay, I have to play f3. I'm threatening rook c4, though, now, for queen uh, bishop b3. So I'll play rook c4. It's protected by the queen here anyway. Which means... Good news, I want to get rid of this battery if I can. So bishop b3 coming up on queen d5. Bishop b3, yeah, it looks crushing on the two diagonals. d2, d2, I think I'm just, okay, I'm going to blunt this diagonal to any checks. Um, The queen is protecting the rook, no need to move the bishop, which is blocking the pawn. I can, my queen's on there. Um, if I get out of the check for a moment, let's go here for a moment, so I can play bishop b3, no I can't, <clears throat> there's queen h6, alright he's got a point about this pawn, it's a bit of a pain, this pawn, bit of a pain, hmm, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about this? Can I do this? It's it's not yet entirely over. Um wondering rook c five just to open up this diagonal for a check. So I can play a check here and have a check there. So I don't have to worry about this pawn queening. That protects e5 as well. So I'll open up this diagonal for the check possibility. So what I want to do is queen h6 and another check hopefully. Is she on king e8? There's bishop a4 check as well. So this check and a check with the bishop coming up, I hope. Let's see. How does this pan out? Queen h6, bishop check, check somewhere. Well, I can just conservatively keep the blockade here. I mean that helps. Okay, thanks for the game. Wow, we got tons of challenges. Blitzbar. Blitzbar. Three one five. I don't think we've played you this evening. Hello. And why have I played knight at c six? I try and avoid playing this position. I know, I'll just give my opponent this position and start again. This is the sort of thing Miles would do, undeveloping moves apparently. Yeah, I don't like this knight c6. Uh, I'm not against knight f3. In fact, that's the first time I've ever thought of playing knight b8. I think that's a genius thing. It's, uh, I'm provoking the pawns to go forward. Yep. Uh, okay, so, uh, e5, knight d5. Uh, uh, okay, so knight e8 to c7, maybe to e6. Clearly, he's been provoked to set up this center. Uh, uh, this could be handy though. Um, that's the problem. All right, so anyway, knight e6, and then maybe queen b6 after. Okay, so queen b6. I can I can take her on an e6 I think so this is doubling the pawns and trying to stop f5 do I get murdered on the dark squares anytime soon hmm can I play it like a French defense now is this G I'll play it like a French defense all right so takes or c4 b5 b4 and see what's happening here. Can I put the pressure on the light squares or not? I can go back to b8 for bishop d7, knight c6. Yes, yeah, second time back, but with a purpose, with a vengeance. Rerouting, rerouting, bishop d7, knight a5 to b3. This doesn't seem like a bad position if I get knight a5 to b3 in. 
Mm, yep. Okay. Um. Mm, yeah, B6 is a problem. I must admit. B6 is a problem. Mm, this could be a problem. Can I play knight a5? If I could move this rook at one point, bishop f8 could be handy. Oh, okay, knight b3 now. Bishop d7. Oh, he's giving me the exchange. Okay, I think that's very interesting for me. Although there's n almost knight c4 if this bishop was uh, not covered up by the knight. Knight c4 would have been there. So can I nick this pawn rather cheekily? So, let's see. So rook b1 I'm going to take, I think. Um, or just take now. Okay, let's see. Bishop d7, rook b8, uh, rook fb8. a4, a3, a2 is the plan, I think. Just march this past pawn. So rook fb8. I don't think I need my bishop to be doing anything. Can just lie, lounge around for a moment. Just let all the other guys do the work, yeah? Bishop on g7. Just don't worry about it. Just just stay where you are. Okay. So a3, a2, rook b1. Mm. Um. Okay. Okay, so I'll take here um, a2 and rook b1 coming up. Is a trump card? Uh, dare I say the word trump card? Sorry, sorry for that. I don't mean to be funny about it. I used to use that before Donald Trump, right? Trump, trump card. All right, thanks for the game, Blitzer. Bl blaster now from Blitzbird to Blaster. All right, I, I, I or I, hang on, hang on. There's like five, six different. Ch has chess become more popular all of a sudden? Uh, ha, ha, have I played? Have I played Blaster? Um, Blaster. I'm just looking. Bl nope. I don't think I've played Blaster. I haven't played any of these guys. No, I played here. All right. What do I want to do for? Okay, I'll do this Blaster first. Um. No, not knight c6. Not I, I'm not doing knight c6. I refuse. I refuse. The, the refutation is knight f3. I don't want to play knight f6. I, I I don't want to see that position ever again. You know, d4, knight c6, knight. I don't want to see it ever again. <coughs> okay, uh, king's union is is Finchetta line. Uh, so bishop f5 for knight e4. I have seen this before. This seems okay. Uh, the last time I used it, I don't think I lost with this. Last time I used it, um, so the plan is to stop the e4 move. Maybe to double the pawns here. Not this d5. Bishop d7. <clears throat> now let's see. F6 for E5, is that terrible? What about just H6 for E5? Try and fix my opponent's uh, pawns. Uh, so King H7, maybe. And uh, Okay. Uh, <clears throat> having a blast here with Blaster. Okay. He's got double pawns. What is my immediate plan? I don't really, while the opponents, I don't want to get into specifics because of moves, but general plan, while he's thinking, what would be the general plan? I'm wondering about these double pawns actually, generally. Can I not just torture the c4? Or is he killing c5? Maybe it was knight c4. Sort of Nims of Engine strategy. If I can play b6, it doesn't have to allow it. I mean, he has. 
Restrain, blockade, destroy. Bishop c8, bishop a6. Restrain, blockade, destroy. Nimzovich. So restra restraining, in the process of restraining, c4. Okay. There's queen d7. I can just take it here, but h6. Let's protect h6 for fun. This is not going too far, is it? If he goes here, I'm going to go queen d7. And if he doesn't play a4, I'll play queen a4, piling on the torture. So let's see. Does this pan out? Does he protect this? Queen d7. Does he play a4? Weakens b3. There's knight b3 to c5. If it gives up the dark square bishop, that's his better bishop, leaving him the hemmed in bishop. I could take towards the center and try and use the b file. But, but, I, that's a bit too maybe forceful that. Just because he plays a5, I don't need to pop into b3 and go to c5. And c. Is he protecting the pawn? That's the first thing. With queen e2. Test. Queen d7, a4. Then what? He's not. Okay. It's academic. I'm going to take it here. C4 is not possible yet. I'm just take and go to B6. So there's a mighty, mighty knights can replace uh, that square, I think. That was one of Chernov's things in the most instructive games of chess ever played. There was a Nimzovich game. He talked about Nimzovich's um, mighty knights. But I want to use that C4 square. It's it's not something entirely clear just yet, is it? If I played queen d7, queen a6, queen a4, I'm going into a horrible like self pin for no reason, which I might not be able to extricate from. What about to stop queen a6 playing a6 first? There's always b7 for the knight. That's some delicate care and attention for this knight here. Queen d7, queen a4. Okay, this changes things dramatically. Opens up my bishop. He can't take because of the knight. g5 looks to be winning a piece as well. But the compensation, just assessing dynamic compensation, knight f5 takes. I don't think queen h5 is that destructive. Might be wrong. G, this might be tempting. G5, knight f5 takes. Rook f4. Is it really worth it? I mean, I don't need to indulge in this. Do I? I mean, why don't I just take on c3? I, I don't want to be too greedy. On the other hand, it, it is a piece. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Temptation of g5. Oh, I'm going to get slaughtered. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. No, 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 no. Do I need Do I need the hassle? I think the key question is the timing. I'm not trying to play scientifically correct moves. Do I need the hassle of g5? No. No, no, no. Can we just get the queens off, please? I just want the queens off and put a knight on c4 and win the end again. End game. So, I don't know. That's what I want to do. c is hanging here as well. Okay. Queens off. Come on. <laughs> there's c4. No, no, there's not. Queen c4. The knight's not hanging just yet. I can swing the knight into e5. You see, he does want to attack me. I was right to be paranoid. He does want to attack me. I'm going to swing a knight into e5. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry on stream. I'm I'm chicken. I don't want to play a move like g5 and then be mated later. I know it would be entertaining for you, but I, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Although he's tempting me again, g5 is on the cards again. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just thinking, the problem is, I'll tell you the problem that I see. 
fundamentally. I'll tell you the problem. It's, it's the fractures. It's the pawn fractures. Yeah, it's it's fracturing f7 and h6. And you might not think that's a big deal, but it becomes a big deal. You know, it becomes a big deal rather rapidly sometimes when you can't play the correct defensive moves and you get slaughtered because of the fractures. But anyway, okay. It's one minute thirty-three each. He's he, he's giving me pawns now for some reason. He's giving me the pawns. Oh, he's got knight g6 on the on the way, hasn't he? If I took here with the bishop, he's got knight g6. If I take with the rook, he's got rook c7. Very funny. Uh -huh. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm giving him rook c7. Have rook c7. Take it. Take it, please. I'm going to play queen e4 here. I'm going to play queen e4. Let's just get the queens off. Let's just get the queens off. Giving another pawn as well. This could get dangerous for my king now. Yeah, uh, okay. It's, it's, uh, uh, uh <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. He's letting me off here a little bit. Take this guy. Yeah. Okay, another pawn bites the dust. Now I have played bullet chess before, uh, but is f7 a big problem? C4 gives bishop d4 check if the knight wants to move to hit this f7. I'll keep that as a possibility. In fact, rook f5, f3, bishop d4 check. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Rook f3, bishop d4. He moves the rook. Uh huh. So if I check. If he plays there, I'll take bishop d4 check with the pin. Mm -hmm. The check or not? Um, G five. G five now. I'm down to forty eight seconds, and the clock keeps freezing. Why do the clocks keep freezing? 46 seconds 45 seconds okay the clocks have really gone crazy here check. it's double check time but he's queening hang on he's queening um Yes, that's unfortunate that he's queening. I didn't need to allow him to queen there. Oh well. It's two rooks against the queen. Okay, it's a good ending. Surely. check and it's over it's over it's a knockout blow there d5 check knockout blow but the clocks have been freezing it's been worrying about the clocks here okay thanks for the game uh play to win we haven't don't think we played on this method off blame me there's been I'm bombarded with challenges tonight. Uh, okay, Nesmetinov, hello. One of my favourite. So many brilliant games by Nesmetinov. <laughs> um. Okay, is is he around? 
was in a game and see what what is his status okay <clears throat> so um I admire the volunteering of weaknesses with the Dutch defense it's it's um it's nice potential weaknesses but yeah okay so e4 I can try and open up the diagonals oh okay knight takes this looks fun already <clears throat> so what's happening here active operations before castling is not to be recommended as a generalization one needs to put oneself beyond the feet the art of war before going on to the attack so in chess terms I think that means you can castle first get your pieces out to good positions then think about attacks because I think it, otherwise you get these like backfire scenarios so um, okay so here is there a backfire there might be uh, I might have check and then check check and then check with the king still in the center could be a backfire check okay check and then check Okay, so what's happening here? G6 check wins the rook. King moves out. Whoa! 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 I'm going to take this center pawn. Uh, it seems too tempting not to take. Threatening immediately bishop. H3 check. And it's queen G7. Check. Limiting options here. No queen E7 because of queen H8. Bishop h7, bishop f4 seems juicy with the bishop h3 in reserve, stopping that king coming. Check. Oh, this is looking like a bad idea from my opponents to get the king uh, jogging around the board at this point. Yeah, this looks terminal. Thanks. Saf. Did we did we play Saf? I don't I don't think we've played Saf. Well, I didn't mean this to be a killer system knight f3. Uh so let's let's see. Uh Hmm, uh play uh reverse king's engine then. Also known as the King's Engine Attack. Not the King's Engine defense, as though there's an attack. <laughs> well, anyway, um, King's Engine attack set up. It's it's uh, at least the minimum it does is keep the pieces on for a bit. Anyway, suspense, keeping the suspense a little bit. Uh, so let's see, is he giving up the light square bishop voluntarily? Or and looking forward to a dark square play, he could do that. Um, not entirely, entirely worried. Let's encourage this for a moment. I think the light squares, uh, this bishop, I can imagine it on this diagonal later. You know, he could come back, I could play h4. Bishop H3. It it could it could occupy that diagonal. There's some pawns on dark squares here, which it'd be nice to have this bishop just cutting through the the light squares there on the H3 to C8 diagonal. I think. Uh, let's let's have a look. I don't I don't think I need to play necessarily with F4. That might be just feeding the bishop, making the bishop more active. I think I had to play H4, Bishop H3. I'll just sit on the light squares for a moment. 
uh, with the possibility of um, h5, king g2, rook h1, knight e3 to d5 springs to mind with tempo as well. So basically, controlling light squares is the plan, I think. Bishop h3, knight e3, d5. That would be very comfortable to have a knight on d5. He could make provisions against that roundabout here. It was a bit late, actually. I thought knight d8 earlier for c6. Knight might be coming to d5 here. It looks pretty comfortable. This light square stuff. We're all without f4. You don't have to play f4. It's not mandatory. Uh, so knight d5, queen d8. Let's imagine bishop g5. Trying to create some more weaknesses with f6. Bishop drops back. g6 has been compromised. Queen d2, bishop h6 after. In fact, do I need him to swap off this guy? Let's rewind that again. Knight d5, queen moves back, bishop g5, f6, bishop drops back. What would be the plan? Maybe just actually, nope, nope, not sure. Okay, I'll put the knight into d5. Okay, there's knight f3 tactically. Kick this one back. I think just generally it looks like a good idea to provoke f6. I can't exactly say why. Maybe it just weakens e6. So that's that's enough justification. Just weaken e6. That means actually immediately knight e6 is not possible because of that bishop. I mean that's enough justification for trying to provoke f6. Okay, this knight's looking great. B4 is actually more venomous now. Without knight e6, the knight can go to d7. In fact, is it worth doing that? Okay, push the knight to d7. The, the bishop h6 plan is is ruled out by his king h7. This might be the time to think about rook e2, rook f1, f4, f5. Change of plan immediately after that. C file, I think. If he takes, takes. I've got a C file here. I've got a backward pawn on c7. Okay, the tactics. No tactics are working. Bishop d7, knight, he just takes here. Otherwise, knight b6. Knight e7, knight could drop back. I think knight drop back. I like the bishop though. I still think now, coming back to earlier thoughts, rook e2, rook f1, f4. Okay. I Now, what if I just sit back with f3? I don't want to open up the bishop just yet on g7. Bishop g5 is uh, is yeah celebrating the pawns here. I have to play bishop g5 for a moment. All right, hold this f file for a moment. Okay, I don't I don't think it matters if a queen's on g5. Um, to keep the queens on, and oh, this f4 is dangerous. All right, back to protect h4 now. Emergency scenario. But okay, there's g4, g5. No, hang on. You can take and move. It gets scary. How scary? I risk it. King g7, rook h8. Always got g5 coming up. Yeah. I know, blocked that side. That seems. Isn't there a knight hanging on b6? Hang on, I just noticed something. That knight was hanging on me. See, I was playing. I was thinking positionally. This is what happens when you think positionally. It shuts down other parts <laughs> of thinking. It literally just shuts down the other things. In in my experience, anyway. Um, yes, I can take that one. I've noticed that. <clears throat> There's rook c seven now. 
Oh, I've noticed yeah. a few things now. Alright, thanks for the game. Um, now, Helen, Hien, have we not played Hien earlier? I thought we did. Yes. I'm going to decline that. A Topo. We haven't played earlier. Uh, okay. Oh, um, Tony McGee. What was your nickname, uh, Tony McGee? Um, I'll try and get to play you on stream. Hi there. Um, by the way, since there's so many of you on stream, there's 88 watching. Feel free to send any likes my way for this video because it helps promote ICC. It's kind of promotional as well for ICC, and the more likes means the video can go a bit more rounds to help promote our fantastic. ICC site. Uh, so remember to like the video if you got if you can. Okay, thanks very much. <laughs> like request over. Okay, let's get back to the game. So D five. D five. D five looks logical. This is Nez. Uh, so Tony McGate is this is Nez. All right. I'm going to play d5. Yeah, I'm going to dare play d5. Yes. Now, the reason I think this is interesting, there was a reason, is hang on, I'm not losing immediately takes, takes, because I've got to check. So that's, I think that's good news that I'm not losing immediately on no takes. If I had to play that, then it just wins immediately. Um, so that's check, key points. Another key point, I can connect my rooks on F takes with bishop g4 hitting the rook. All right, we'll play this check. Check. Uh huh. I can interpose e3, but then there's knight e7. So I'm going to just take her to be boring. I'm isolating a pawn I know in the center. I'm wondering bishop g4, if rookie one there's bishop f2 there winning an exchange. If bishop e2, I can take and then win e4 maybe. So rookie one bishop f2, bishop e2, I'm winning e4. For some reason, I think something's gone wrong with white's opening here. This can't be right. I'm threatening knight f2 now. Knight F two. Okay, this this looks like a pawn up. <clears throat> um. Okay, uh, Knight takes D two brings the king out, or Knight F two wins the exchange. I think Knight takes. I, I can win the exchange. I, I don't need to rely on. Okay, thanks for the game. Um, Red Atkin. Have we played Red Atkin? I'm just checking the list. No, I don't believe so. Hello, Red Aiken. Aiken. Red Aiken. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is um, Austrian attack against Hippopotamus. Austrian versus Hippopotamus. I'm going to go for my h4 hack attack thing. I generally slaughter from this sort of position, uh, in bullet chess at least. Uh, it's, it's my cup of tea, just to rip open the h file. f6, there's bishop c4. I enjoy the violence of this position with g4. It's, one of, it's positional as well. It's that, that rook. That rook is really cool on h1. Liberation for the rook on h1. Okay, so. Yep, yeah, I'm liberating a rook here. 
the sensors collapsing and the side effects. Uh, so if losing the light might not be a big deal either. Uh, so let's see. Let's calculate. Takes, 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 takes. Well, there's things going on with bishop c4 check there and queen g4. So that's good enough. Uh, okay, so hg and bishop c4 check. Uh, water time, I think. <clears throat> I'm drinking, um, for those interested, Tesco's Ashback. Apparently, it's bottled at source. Still natural mineral water. Yes. I used to have gallons of Diet Coke, but, um, People kept saying about the aspartame and stuff, and I thought maybe they had a point. Okay, so HG Bishop C4 check. Check. But another drink is um, there's a ginger and lemongrass cordial, not cordial, concentrate. The Green Bottle Company do it. It's pretty cool. Just add water to it. Uh, try and put a minimal amount of that uh, just to get the, the, the faint the faintest of, of tastes of, of the ginger and that's pretty cool I think it beats Diet Coke thanks thanks Red back in um, and we definitely played as Metanov I think we played uh, Saf I'm trying to give all the people we've definitely played Saf Schrodinger's cat I'm pretty sure we haven't played so a physics enthusiast I always thought that was pretty cruel that scenario about um, the cat uh, but anyway okay so uh, yeah uh, I like I like the old cats and as well as as dogs. In fact, um, so let's see, let's see. Uh, Schrodinger's cat. Is he ready? Uh, okay, okay. Um, he doesn't seem to be. Let's go on to another game. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Kings in your defense. I'll play it with e5 classic <clears throat> so classical okay let's go with a knight c5 plan Or king h7, knight h5 to f4. Or is it, I don't know, knight g4 maybe is interesting as well. So king h7, uh, or knight h5 to f4, or knight g4. Uh, okay. Th this is uh, an interesting king's engine uh, position. If, if I can get a nice knight to f4, if you ever took, I'd open up the uh, diagonal. 
so knight h5 to f4 alright that's been ruled out can I play for f5 f4 okay open up this bishop if he t takes maybe knight c5 and uh, rook e8 alright I'll get I think knight c5 rook e8 Uh, it it seems I don't know I'm hoping this is okay a4 c6 queen b6 comes to mind all right seems okay something like c6 queen b6 I'll be losing d6 there's a discovered uh, check though there so that might be possible if king h1 d6 remains weak I'm wondering do I need to play that c6 idea it seems rather silly in some respects what about just trying to um, put pressure on the diagonal uh, with say a3 I'm wondering a3 hmm. Hmm. a3 you can play b4 now um, yes yes I'll try and keep the pawn structure intact for a moment with bishop d7. Okay, can I actually, let's see, can I put a rook to b6 here? I'm trying to do something with this diagonal. Queen a5 plan, queen a8, queen a5, queen b4. Oh, that's a piece, that's a piece. That was protected. <clears throat> uh, okay, so yeah, uh, that does seem to be good news generally. I don't think it's my king side seems safe enough at the moment. At the moment, this one might change. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll just take that guy off. Uh, bishop takes. Yep. Let's try and use this uh, A file. Queen A3. Or uh, maybe Rook A6 after. Just to uh, get onto that. Okay, B4, I don't think it's a problem here. To take B4. So I'm going to play like Rook A6. Uh, just to put pressure on A2 now. I know it's starting to brew something here. Um, mm. Uh huh. Alright, I'm going to take this A2 pawn now. Something's brewing. I mean, I don't want to be too asleep over here. It's uh, <clears throat> But that's a pin, potentially. Uh huh. Okay. Um, well, there's Queen A1 is possible. Queen A1 and uh, yeah, I think Queen A1. Queen A1. It's 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 um, springing to mind. I don't know. Um, if I take takes uh, rook a1 is is there rook e1 there there's rook e1 okay okay is there queen d4 maybe just queen d4 for a moment uh, okay so the plan now let's see h6 is still I can't see h6 being a huge problem uh, maybe I should I don't maybe just rook, rook a1 at the moment <clears throat> just undermining I think f4 actually if he's not doing anything well well I think this is getting shaky it's getting a bit shaky 
Check. F four, yeah, is undermined. So Queen Queen yeah, thanks for the game. Thanks for the game. There's messing off we've played. Um oh, maybe a challenge is clear. Let's play a three minute auto pairing game. Had a bit of luck earlier on the three minute on the one game. It's uh so King's Engine attack in reverse. Just everything in reverse with the extra tempo. Let's see what happens here. There's a three minute game. Wow, really? G5. Uh, okay, so Knight C4. Whoa. Whoa. No way. Surely, surely I, I, I can I can get some play here from doing something like B4. I, I don't believe this. I don't believe all this active business with the king in the center. I don't believe it. I have to just open up somehow the position. Very provocative. <clears throat> Very active with the king in the center. Um, I think I'm going to take queen b3 stuff. Queen b3. Is he playing bishop e6? Mm hmm. If I take here. I am pinned. There's limits to what I can do here, I suppose. It appears as, as though that's the. Okay, a5 for a moment. Knight a5 check. Knight, no, knight a5, queen b4. I, I don't think I've got any particular point here at the moment. Although knight takes, takes the knight g5. The thing is, he takes with the knight. He takes with the knight. I'm taking her knight d6. Mm hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll take it slow for a moment with Queen B five. It kind of reminds me of King's Engine stuff in reverse. Uh, maybe it shouldn't do because he might have takes some Rook A five. If I take with the pawn for Rook A five, Queen B three. Uh, right, here we go. He's eating all my pawns. This guy. Do I try and interpose a C five check on Rook A one? Do I bother with that? I can get a pawn back at least, finally. With maybe a bit of pressure. Nope, I can't get a pawn back. <laughs> what am I thinking? Getting a pawn back. Alright, Queen E6. Plunge into light squares. Queen E6. Oh, I can't even do that. He's on my tail, he's on my, my C1. Oh, this isn't. I'm not sure this is going entirely to plan. I've got to say. Although, okay, is any of his pawns loose? Knight a5, I guess. He's going to cling on to all his pawns. Knight takes. Check. Any, any good? Just knight d2, simple. Knight d2, more simple, rather. Maybe queen g4 to e6. All right, I'll take one pawn back then with some pressure on b7. Uh huh. Can I take on b7 or not bother with that? Uh huh. Sorting out the back row a little bit. His time usage is not ideal. But. What have I got? 
I got nothing. There's a check. Hold on. There's a check. Check. Maybe that's disruptive. There's rook f3. If he plays knight e4, there's queen f5. Uh huh. There's bishop h3. If he plays check, there's king g2. There's bishop f5 here. If he plays king g7, uh, well, I'll play. I'll play queen e6 for a moment. Bishop f5 and then g4 might be good. Uh, hang on, let's go around this way. G4. Blimey, he's still being a bit greedy, isn't he? Time warning. Oh, I, I gotta move. I gotta move. Check. Check. second check but it hasn't been a very convincing game I'm afraid okay <laughs> uh, there's been stuff we played before Finchetto we haven't played before I don't recognize that that name from earlier um, yes Okay, get, get playing another King's Indian style position. Uh, so that's the famous tonight. This might be the last game. We're approaching 11 p.m. in London. 11 p.m. Okay, rookie one, knight c4. I hope you've been enjoying this session tonight um, okay and nice to see so many of you here so uh, on the stream that's great so uh, okay let's see Bishop g5 Bishop d2 um, Bishop g5 Queen b3 Okay, a4 to stop b5, I think. But I think my plan is basically it's queen b3. Um, I, I think I can. Can I play? Ooh, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm wondering about this knight e5 business. If I play queen b3, b5, a takes, a takes, knight takes. Is it doing anything? Probably not. I'm just wondering. Knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. I'm on d5. Worth playing, maybe. Give it a punt. I'm hoping d5 is vulnerable. This might not work. My calculation isn't all that. Knight takes. Knight takes. Okay, I, I've unleashed the bishop. But is there c4? Could that put a spanner in the works? C4. Take, I think maybe just take. That is pinned to B8. So let's see. Bishop takes, uh, bishop takes. C4 here. I think I just take. All right, maybe this is okay. F7 needs to be addressed. Let's see how would he do it? How would he address F7 here? Queen D7. 
I'm wondering about like rookie. No, fine, that's not working. No, the the d5 is is loose. Okay, queen d7. Take that more seriously now. What do I do? Bishop f4 maybe. Bishop f4 looks like a nice pin. On e8. Check. Okay. I just take here. Or am I getting mated? I don't think the bishop get mated that easily. So if I put the bishop back on g2, I oh know he's got he's got bishop moves. I'll stop all the checks and stuff for a moment. Difficult to calculate the checks and stuff. Um Queen D five, Queen E five plan. Get the queens off. I, I yeah, I wanted to rule out the check. So queen queen d five here. It seems plausible. Yeah, if Bishop F five there's a check and she wins the rook. Um yeah, this seems fair enough. Um Okay, thanks to the game. I think there might be one more slot of a game for a, one slot left for a three minute water pairing. If I'm quick about it. Okay, can I play this with Bishop B2? Trying to fix down the queenside pawns a bit. Would he take? He might take. Now the queenside onslaught continues. I think my idea is sometimes to play e5 and knight f1, e3. That protects c2 anyway. It's a g4. Maybe you know later h4, h5, h6. It's pretty stereotypical stuff. Yeah, I'll kick off with this h5. <clears throat> Do I want an exchange of rooks? He's damaging my structure with bishop a6 to follow. Yeah, it's going to get nasty this position pretty quickly. Oh well. It's getting nasty. It has got nasty. Uh, it's um, I can imagine falling to bits now quite easily because of that d3 weakness. <clears throat> there is 91 for a moment. Um. <clears throat> Pursue this king side stuff. Is there d4? Am I losing material? I've dissolved the stuff. Um, Alright, so queen e3. There's, there's no knight c2 at the moment. Bishop c5, maybe queen f4. Right, at least I haven't. The structural damage has just evaporated. With that dissolving with the pawns there, um, am I left with any attacking potential? That's the question. And knight h6, queen h6. Well, right, encouraging me to play f4. Right, knight f6 here. I'll lose the queen to bishop c5. I'm not careful. He did weaken that diagonal. Um, is knight f6 worth a punt? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Bishop d4, knight b5. Knight f3. Is rook d3? This gets rather painful. <clears throat> Can I pin? Oh, let's try pinning that guy. <coughs> Mm-hmm. 
Can I play this? Or this? Bishop d5, isn't there queen takes b4 in that position? Bishop d5, queen takes b4. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, he's managed it, so I'm getting slaughtered. Um. You know, my queen hasn't got anywhere to go. It's not ideal, is it? <clears throat> Two pieces for the queen. G2 is not. Well, there's knight e3 on queen b7, I suppose. This is not ideal. Queen is Queen D three. Yeah, it's been a bit too accurate on the onslaught on the Queen side. Not usually such a disaster. Bit of an anticlimax of a game. It's not usually such a disaster. That system, he played it very well. Uh, okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed tonight. Um, all right, any comments, questions, likes, appreciate it. And uh, have a good weekend. Have fun with chess and, and see you next week. Okay, thanks very much. I'll just say to the co producer, we're finishing now. Yeah, I think it's 11. Finish on a low there. <laughs> On that, on that disaster. Oh well. Alright. See you guys next week. Thanks very much.